Ecclesiastes 4, 9 through 12, two people can accomplish more than twice as much as one. I love that. They get a better return for their labor. If one person falls down, the other one can help reach out and pick them up. But people who are all alone when they fall are usually in real trouble. On a cold night, two together gain warmth from each other. But how can one be warm alone? A person standing alone can be attacked and defeated, but two standing back to back can conquer the world. We're just so excited to have Mitchell and the family. Uh, forgive me. Try not to be emotional. The, I, I read on the internet how you're supposed to do these. It says, don't get emotional. I'm not good at that. Uh, in the short amount of time I've, I've uh, known Mitchell, got to spend time with him, I was really impressed with, uh, with how he treated Kendall. It, it was obvious to me, Mitchell, how much you love her and how kind you were to her and how patient. And I just want to say we are, uh, we're so thankful to your parents and your family. They've obviously raised a fine man. And uh, we are just really excited to have you to be a part of our family. It means commitment. It's a promise. It's giving your word to each other in front of God who is present and all of these people and family who love you so much. It's impossible to make a true commitment unless you accept the fact that it's a choice every single day. You must choose one another. I've talked with Kendall privately when Mitchell wasn't around, and she uses words like kind and patient. What a wonderful man I found, Greg, she said. And in turn, I've talked with Mitchell, and he speaks of Kendall as quirky, that was the first word, and if I heard, love for animals and an abiding sweetness in her spirit, and love he knows from her inside out. Kendall Page Adams. Kendall Page Adams. Today I take you to be my wife. Today I take you to be my wife. Mitchell Dalton Barnett. Mitchell Dalton Barnett. Today I take you to be my husband. Today I take you to be my husband. I promise to love you without reservation. I promise to love you without reservation. I will comfort you in times of distress. I will comfort you in times of distress. Together we will create a home. Together we will create a home. Becoming part of one another. Becoming part of one another. I can now pronounce you husband and wife. And if you want to kiss your husband, you may. We're married. <laughs>
But it's not about today. It's not about the ceremony. As your grandmother said, it's about the commitment. And um, it's about having God at the center of a marriage. My prayer for you is that God will grant you peace in the midst of sorrow that you will find joy in Christ. Kindle since sixth grade. We've had our ups and downs, and like most friends, we sorry, I'm gonna cry. And like, <laughs> so I am happy to say that I helped introduce her to the love of her life, Mitch, on a simple uh, double date. So, which I knew he was nervous because as he left my house that very night, he left huge ruts in my parents' front yard trying to back out his truck, which he said he knew how to do, but obviously that didn't work out. So. From that point forward, they were stuck to each other like glue and we all knew where it was headed. It was headed to this day, this time, and this moment. Soft and simple touch No, it don't mean nothing to me 